Steve, we're talking about a walking sim called The Invincible by Star Wars Industries. And dude, I was excited because I was able to preview this about a year ago. At this point, it's got to be at least. And when I finished up our preview, I was like, wow, you left me on such a cliffhanger. I needed to get into the rest of the game to find out where we are, what happens to Yasna and the crew of the Dragonfly. And dude, it has a bit of a slow start, but I'm telling you, by the time I wrapped it up, wow was i excited i was pumped i came off of a high last night when i finished that game up it was so cool the story is now based off of a novel as well so if you read the novel it might kind of go coincide with the game but for me i've never read the book so to get into the game i was like yeah this is cool it looks good there's a lot we can talk about and a lot i don't want to talk about because i was able to wrap it up and i believe five six hours it wasn't all that long to get into right so I probably wrapped yeah. up closer to around six, I believe. And it's, it's got some some great moments, but it's definitely got some lows because it is that walking sim. So it is kind of a bit of a drag through some of the moments. But before I get into everything, Steve, where are you at with the Invincible, my friend? Well, I didn't quite complete it. I think it's, I've got quite far in this game, but not to the end. And I don't think I'm that far off as of obviously the conversation you just had prior to it. Yeah. But like you said, I've not read the book and straight into it, the story, I, I'm a, I like the stories and this one definitely hooked me in straight away. And I like the way it was heading off straight off as you're a biologist and you're on this planet and obviously you've got to find out what happened to the crew and other bits and pieces. But the issue I have is the walking sim part. <laughs> I, I love the planet. It's very like a desert looking, yeah. like sand and that kind of thing. But you do run out of breath. So when you do try to get a sprint on, which is a bit of a faster paced walking, yep. you get out of breath and then it's slow. And I found probably for the first two hours, I'm just walking from <laughs> point A to point B, just to find out what you have to do. Or you get little side things, not a side thing, but it tells you to go to this place here and check yeah. this bit out here. But the issue I had was the map. I just found it so clumsy because it wasn't just a straightforward one map. It was pages yeah. of, of, sorry, God. No, it, 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 the map was a little cumbersome for me as well. I didn't really care for the map. I used it a couple of times here near, more closer to the end of the game than I did near the beginning. The beginning I thought was a little bit more direct. Okay, here's point A to point B. But yeah, when you pull up the map, you're like, okay, where am I? And where where do I go? And then when you flip the page, you're like, well, now I don't know where I am because I'm on the other page, but that the map has got me over here. It, it is a little cumbersome. I get where you're coming from. But I do say, but, but further on, you do get a vehicle to help you. So you're not actually <laughs> like walking too much. And I was so grateful for the vehicle. Yeah. But I don't know what it was, but the camera action for me, it almost felt like motion sickness. Really? I don't know what it was like driving and then moving the camera for the window because it, I guess it's the bouncing because of the terrain. Yeah. And when it jumps over there, it takes your vision off a little bit from the windscreen. And then I don't know if the sensitivity was a little bit too much for me, but trying to sort of see where you're driving because you only have a small view window to go by. Yep. And to me, it was like, oh, I feel a bit motion sickness all of a sudden. <laughs> Almost like as I was playing VR. But you do, you only have a, a small bit of equipment to work by as well. You yeah. do have like a scanner and a tracker as well, I believe, as well yeah. as your map. And that's all you have. It's, yeah, it, it's very light in controls, right? Pretty simplistic. I found you, so you hover over something and then it'll turn to a hand, which then allows you to interact with that. I found sometimes trying to get to that was a little tricky or I pass it or I wouldn't quite be close enough. I'm like, man, the window there could be a little bit bigger just so it's there because that's the objective of where I got to go to anyways when I'm interacting with my objects. This premise of the story, if you don't know, the Invincible is basically we're part of this crew, these biologists and stuff, and we're, we've are we landed on this planet. Not us in particular. Our crew has landed on this planet, but they disappeared. They vanished off, off of our radar. So Yasna, our main character beams down to the planet to find out where did our crew go novik is another part of the characters part of the crew stays on the dragonfly and that we talk to him constantly back and forth through this entire experience and you find out a little bit more of what he's done and what we're doing and what's going on and then you discover where your crew is gone and then you discover where other crews have gone and why is this planet all basically nothing but dead right 
Yeah. It's just a giant desert, and the world around you is just gone. There's moments where I stopped, and I pause, and I take a look at the scenery and go, wow, yeah. that is beautiful. Go into photo mode. This has got to be one of the worst photo modes I've ever used, unfortunately. It's such a hard... I love photo modes, and I will spend yeah. some time in there. Coming off of Spider-Man 2, yo, there's a lot to learn here when it comes to a photo mode because Insomniac crushes it to the point where you're adding, like, highlights and things like that, right? Here, it is literally... You just move your camera around, and then you can change your pose. But half the time, when you change to a sitting pose, it really doesn't... There's not... You, you can't move your character, so I'm just sitting on air. <laughs> I'm just like, this doesn't yeah. work. And you go to a filter. It's got one filter. It just goes black and white. Or you go back to color. I'm like, what? what the heck is going on here? But I was able to, you know, get a couple photos taken care of and stuff like that. Spend some time and, you know, kind of get the right angle and see the other planets around your own planet. Some of this is really cool. The, yeah, the story. Dude, the way the story just wraps up. It was so satisfying. Often we get to the end of the game and like, ah, that didn't quite hit. Yeah. This one nails the ending, and I love this game. Steve, all in all, I've had a great time playing The Invincible. It had such a cool story. The exploration is there. Can be a little drawn out in some moments, and there's some hiccups with uh, an experience I had with the, a device that wouldn't allow me to get out of the device. I'll call it. I don't want to spoil it when people get to that part, because it's really cool, but, dude, it just didn't work. I'm like, I'm locked in this thing. I can't get out of it. And she's talking about how she can see everything. I'm like, you can't see anything because I'm not high enough. Uh, just, yeah, either way. That's a whole thing in itself. And then there's no jump button. So when you're walking around in the terrain, I came apart across this one yeah. part. There's like cables everywhere. And I'm hooked on these cables. I'm like, I won't even step over the cable. I can't jump over the cable. But then you get into the rest of yeah. the gameplay. The story, definitely a selling feature. What's going on with the planet? Such a cool thing. The alliance, like there's so much. I'm like, love it, love it, love it, love it. For me, 8.5. Dude, this game was cool. It is a walking sim, so you're going to have some slow yeah. moments. So be mindful of that. But for me, that walking slim sim genre with the touch of that story, whew, memorable. One of the coolest stories this year. Yep. Well, I'm giving Invincible a 7.5. As you said, it is a walking sim, and I found it a little bit too slow a pace for my liking. Yeah. But everything you've touched on graphically looked amazing. I love the way the story is going. And I'm definitely going to put a few more hours in, I, I believe, and just sort of finish up this game. Dude, you're like this close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>